I think that there's room for some discussion here about the mechanism of some of these peak discharges. If you had a, a big earthquake and or an impact into the ice sheet, which basically, if it's a big enough impact, it's equivalent to a magnitude eight earthquake. Yes, then, yes. Then the seismic shaking would crack the ice. It also could trigger, um, you know, induce seismicity. Then you could get a flood as a result of that. Well, but the majority I, of geologists whose papers I've read or who I've been out in the field with, with maybe one exception, Jerome Lessman, are not looking at an impact at all as being in any way connected with these Well, the thing is, I don't, I, I've heard that, that, that now they think it's not just one big flood, that it's multiple events, but I don't know. I think that the even one ice dam scenario of 2,000 feet depth water is problematic. It just multiplies the problem if you say, well, the ice dam failed and then resealed the outlet there at Lake Pend Oreille again and again and again.